Whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. A reading from the devotional Morning by Morning by Charles Spurgeon. And all the children of Israel murmured. Numbers 14, 2. There are murmurers amongst Christians now as there were in the camp of Israel of old. There are those who, when the rod falls, cry out against the afflictive dispensation. They ask, Why am I thus afflicted? What have I done to be chastened in this manner? A word with thee, O murmurer. Why shouldst thou murmur against the dispensations of thy heavenly Father? Can he treat thee more hardly than thou deservest? Consider what a rebel thou wast once, but he has pardoned thee. Surely, if he in his wisdom sees fit now to chasten thee, thou shouldst not complain. After all, art thou smitten as hardly as thy sins deserve? Consider the corruption which is in thy breast, and then wilt thou wonder that there needs so much of the rod to fetch it out? Weigh thyself and discern how much dross is mingled with thy gold. And dost thou think the fire too hot to purge away so much dross as thou hast? Does not that proud, rebellious spirit of thine prove that thy heart is not thoroughly sanctified? Are not those murmuring words contrary to the holy, submissive nature of God's children? Is not the correction needed? But if thou wilt murmur against the chastening, take heed. For it will go hard with murmurers. God always chastises his children twice. If they do not bear the first stroke patiently, but know one thing, he doth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men. All his corrections are sent in love to purify thee and to draw thee nearer to himself. Surely it must help thee to bear the chastening with resignation if thou art able to recognize thy father's hand. For whom the Lord loveth he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. Murmur not, as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed of the destroyer. So the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit 
is hewn down and cast into the fire. unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, and he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. baptized went up straightway out of the water and lo the heavens were open under him and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him and lo a voice from heaven saying this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased 